Could James Webb able to follow things in our solar system? Beautiful pictures of our solar system, including nebulae, galaxies, and even the deepest vista of the cosmos have been taken by the James Webb Space Telescope. The telescope is now focused on our own solar system, which is much closer to us. The new photographs reveal Jupiter, Saturn, and their moons in never-before-seen detail, giving researchers a wealth of knowledge about these well-known planets. These photographs, in addition to being incredibly beautiful, will also aid in our understanding of the creation and development of our solar system. We are seeing the universe around us more clearly and precisely with each new image the James Webb Space Telescope captures. The solar system is another matter. The James Webb spacecraft is capable of imaging solar system objects. In this video, let's learn how the James Webb can follow objects in the solar system. When NASA published the first of the amazing images taken by the James Webb Space Telescope, the internet erupted a week ago. The James Webb Space Telescope, the largest telescope ever built by humans, is capable of taking breathtaking pictures of space. In December 2021, it entered orbit. Compared to the Hubble Space Telescope's primary mirror, the James Webb Space Telescope's is six times bigger. Compared to Hubble, the James Webb Space Telescope is also more sensitive to infrared wavelengths. This enables the James Webb Space Telescope to find things that Hubble is unable to detect. Astronomers will be able to do more in-depth research on the universe thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope. The James Webb Space Telescope can see much farther into space than any other telescope thanks to its larger mirrors and enhanced sensitivity to infrared wavelengths. In fact, NASA has demonstrated that it is able to observe objects that even Hubble is unable to see. James Webb, a telescope built by NASA, can follow and take pictures of solar system objects in addition to studying the universe's deepest mysteries. NASA's Next Generation Space Observatory successfully observed a moving asteroid earlier in May 2022. The successful observation of a nearby object shows that the James Webb Space Telescope is capable of observing both solar system objects and the far-off galaxies, stars, and other things that it is meant to examine during the course of its conceivably 20-year lifespan. To make sure that we can explore objects moving across the solar system with Webb, we will test other objects moving at various speeds as we proceed with Webb's observation. With Webb's ability to see close objects, it will be possible to look into everything from potentially livable moons orbiting our solar system's gas giant planets to frozen objects in the Kuiper Belt. We got a glimpse of Webb's incredible ability to observe things in the solar system. While calibrating the instruments to see if they can be used to study nearby celestial objects like moons and asteroids, as well as other features like planet rings and satellites, members of the James Webb team took pictures of Jupiter. A stunning view of Jupiter and its moons, taken by the James Webb Space Telescope, sheds new light on the gas giant's distinctive bands and the Great Red Spot. The image was captured using the short wavelength filter by the telescope's near-infrared camera, NIR cam, instrument. Even though it seems white in the photograph because of how the image was edited, the great red spot is definitely visible in it. The 2.12 micron filter on the NIR cam sensor produced an image that included the Jovian moons Europa, Thebe, Metis, and even Europa's shadow close to the great red spot. The atmosphere of Jupiter and its interactions with its moons are better understood thanks to this fresh vision of Jupiter. The JWST, also known as the James Webb Space Telescope, is most well known for its capacity to look into the universe's most remote regions. However, researchers will also use the telescope to more thoroughly examine our own cosmic neighborhood. The photographs of Jupiter and an asteroid taken by the telescope and used by engineering teams to calibrate the observatory sensors were just made public by the space agency. The images provide a tiny preview of the pictures our solar system should be sending us in the months and years to come. 
The James Webb Space Telescope promises to transform our understanding of the solar system and beyond with its unparalleled capacity to gather light and resolve minute details. The image published by NASA shows Jupiter, its rings, and three of its moons, Europa, Phoebe, and Metis. In the image on the left, right next to the planet's infamous Great Red Spot, the shadow of Europa can also be seen. As part of a test to demonstrate that JWST could track swiftly moving objects through the solar system, James Webb spotted Jupiter. This test also demonstrated that the JWST can capture images of the moons and rings that surround a planet with the brightness of Jupiter. It was anticipated that it would be difficult to observe a bright planet, its satellites, and its rings due to scattered light that could impact the research equipment being used as well as the fine guidance sensors need to track guide stars close to the bright planet. The near-infrared camera, NIR-CAM, photos from JWST, however, show that these difficulties are surmountable. The photos, which highlight distinct light wavelengths using two different filters, demonstrate JWST's ability to capture remarkable detail. Of the nine targets that were photographed, Jupiter was the one that moved the slowest, but it is also one of the most beautiful. This test has revealed useful information about JWST's capabilities and demonstrated that it is capable of producing groundbreaking findings. Although it is well known that the James Webb Space Telescope is built to study far-off objects in space, it required a test subject that was a little closer to the ground. So, JWST engineers oriented the telescope in Jupiter's direction and took some photos. The telescope's capacity to focus on far-off objects and gather data was put to the test using these photographs. They also made it possible for the engineers to adjust the telescope's equipment. Although NASA's full-color views of nebulas and galaxies are more glittering, the images of Jupiter nonetheless demonstrate the level of accuracy we may anticipate from JWST's images of the outer solar system. The images show Europa, Jupiter's icy moon, as well as the planet's famous storm feature, the Great Red Spot. And just visible are Jupiter's narrow rings, which are sometimes missed in pictures of the gas giant. Unprecedented prospects for studying the planets and moons in our outer solar system, and in particular for looking for potential evidence of life, will be made feasible by the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST. According to the photos provided by NASA, JWST will be able to observe relatively faint objects like the rings and moons that circle extremely bright planets like Jupiter and Saturn. This is significant because several of these moons may be possible habitats for life as we know it because it is believed that liquid seas exist beneath the surfaces of many of them. The James Webb Space Telescope will also be able to observe objects that move quickly, including comets and asteroids. This is significant because it will help us comprehend the workings of our solar system and the possible dangers that these objects offer to life as we know it. The James Webb Space Telescope will, in the end, be a potent tool for comprehending our role in the cosmos and looking for the secrets that are yet buried in the depths of space. From the ultraviolet to the infrared, the James Webb Space Telescope is intended to examine objects in space throughout a very broad spectrum of wavelengths. The investigation of galaxy formation and evolution is one of its main scientific objectives. The commissioning team put this capability to the test by locking onto an asteroid in the belt of asteroids that lies between Mars and Jupiter and demonstrating that they could monitor it with JWST. In the end, they discovered that the observatory can track objects traveling twice as quickly as they had anticipated. It's comparable to photographing a turtle creeping from a mile away, according to the author. All of this is fantastic news since it indicates that JWST will be effective at observing objects like comets and near-Earth objects. In general, the commissioning report demonstrates that JWST is operating even better than anticipated. After six months of commissioning, the key finding is that JWST is completely competent of doing the scientific tasks for which it was intended. 
The JWST mission was designed to allow important advances in our knowledge of the genesis and development of galaxies, stars, and planetary systems. What do you think of the James Webb Space Telescope's capabilities? Let us know in the comments section below, and don't forget to check out our other JWST videos.